Easily one of the most annoying behaviors of having a new dog is nipping and chewing. I'm here with one of Caesars Way's head trainer, Todd Langston, to show us how we can nip this annoying behavior in the bud. How do we prevent chewing or nipping? That might be the two behaviors that dog owners end up being the most frustrated with of all. Let's start with nipping. Nipping is basically a natural instinctive behavior for a dog because when they're young, they explore the world with their mouth. They pick things up, they feel the texture of it, they get the smell of it, the taste of it, and that's natural behavior for them. If a puppy walks up to another puppy and nips it too hard in play or just in any interaction, the puppy that got nipped is gonna yelp. And what that sound does is it communicates to this one here that that wasn't okay. You can do the same thing. You can actually make a yelping sound like, hey! You wait for the puppy to calm back down and you go back in and you interact with them again. If a puppy gets too nippy and they come in and during interacting with you, they start to nip or they start to grab you, what you'll do is you redirect them. You can redirect them with a toy or you can redirect them with a piece of food. In this case, I'm using bacon. Bacon's one of the best things you can use because it's such a powerful smell. Right. What can people do with puppies that are chewing furniture? For starters, it's very important to make sure that your puppy is fulfilled on a daily basis. The majority of chewing comes from boredom. So if you occupy your puppy, give him plenty of exercise, lots of stimulation, plenty of chew toys, that can often curb the chewing. Now there's also products that are available that can also help you out. Bitter apple spray, you spray a little bit on a cotton ball or a little piece of um, paper towel or tissue. You take that cotton ball and you put it in their mouth. The reaction of most dogs is going to be to spit it out. The smell gets connected to the yeah, the bitterness and that negative taste. So in essence, what it does is it creates an avoidance of the smell. From that point, you take the spray and you spray it in the areas that they're chewing. And you do that every day for anywhere between two and four weeks. Right. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start to teach the puppy that there's an, a negative outcome to chewing on that. Right. And I think the most important thing to remember here is every single time you interact with your dog, Every single time, it's a learning moment and a teaching moment. They're learning, we're teaching. Do you have any recommendation for puppies that are nipping children? I do. It's what I call be a tree. If the puppy starts to nip at them, I want the kids to jump up and simply stop moving. And this way the puppy learns that there's rules in regards to the children and there's limits to the way they can interact with us. And I find that very important because nipping puts dogs in the shelter possibly more than most of the other behaviors. Nipping it in the bud, as you said, is a, uh, is a perfect way to fix it. Thanks, Todd, for giving us the tools on how to address this annoying behavior. 